Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First, the probable cause of AIDS has been found, a variant of a known human cancer virus. Second, not only has the agent been identified, but a new process has been developed to mass produce this virus. Thirdly, with discovery of both the virus and this new process, we now have a blood test for AIDS. With the blood test, we can identify AIDS victims with essentially 100% certainty. Thank you, uh, Secretary. Only then I started looking into it. I looked up a bunch of papers in science that, that Bob Gallo, I, I knew about him and had written. I figured, well, Gallo must have been the one to figure it out because he's the name I've heard associated with it. And I looked at his papers and I didn't find anything in there that actually showed me that there was a fact now in science called HIV is the cause of AIDS or even the probable cause of AIDS which is all I would have expected, the probable cause of AIDS. Highly probable, because they were attacking the whole problem by then as though it were certainly the cause. So I'd expect it to be highly probable, but I couldn't find anything that said it was remotely probable even. I couldn't find anything that said it was remotely probable even. It was possible, but it wasn't probable. And so therefore, it wasn't even close to what you'd call a fact. There are no really good experiments that would lead anybody who was, who was at least maintaining a healthy skepticism to believe that HIV was responsible for this series of, this not series, but kind of a loose confederation of diseases that people are now willing to call AIDS, right? It's a, it's a confederation of maybe 30 different diseases, all of which have existed in one form or other prior to the condition that we call AIDS is ever being pointed out, and all of which have had some other explanation at one time or other, you know, to say that all 30 of those are somehow caused in at least some cases, called AIDS cases, by a virus called HIV. I think, I, I haven't seen any evidence for that. I haven't even seen anybody trying to bring evidence forth, to bring evidence forth for that.